Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be going over a little bit of software I've developed uh, over the last couple of days that I thought of, and I've gone full tryhard with this uh, Snapchat wallpaper, so I uh, hope you guys think I'm a serious Snapchat guru here. Um, but I have come up with this software, and it's kind of like a solution to that problem in the community where the old there was an old Snapchat API that got removed um, that allowed you to automatically add, and this is kind of a fix in the between that for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go into how you can either get set up with the auto adder, or you can just simply add yourself to the list of names that pe people will add. So you can um, benefit as a uh, a user or just by supplying your username so we'll get into it so i'll just start with this part of the um the tour uh so this website will be in the uh in the description um and basically all this is is just a way for you to put in your username and that will be used uh as part of the kind of adding service i am going to add a part of it that allows you to remove your name just in case you want to get rid of it you know because it's your data um, but this is just the main part. So I'll just show you um, what to do here, just as an example. So we'll put in your name, someone else's name, and the last name. Now, the reason I'm adding two other names is because um, obviously you want to get consent from them. It's kind of like a group tribulation to come together. And that is so that um, it's unknown and unclear that all of these names are actually people who subscribe. So Snapchat can't simply look at these names and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of these accounts because that's just not true. The likelihood of Snapchat even looking at these accounts is below negative. Like it's, it's um, who cares? Uh, because everything is, no, nothing crazy is happening. What I've developed, I just thought of the idea. But um, you'll hit join fame and your name will be put into the list. Uh, it should disappear. If it doesn't disappear, there's an error. Um, so that's that part. And if there's any issues, just let me know. I only developed this in a day or so. The next part is this part of the website. So it's on the same domain, but slash names. Uh, it's hooked up to the database. These are just a few names that have come in already. Um, so these, this is, a, this is what's a, called a JSON response. So if you're a programmer, you'll be able to use this API by calling this URL and you'll be able to get these values back. Um, this is how I've developed the other part of the application. So what I've, what I've basically done is connected these two and um, I've built a public kind of adding API that people can subscribe to if they want to be part of being automatically added. So it'll kind of, if you just simply use this part of the API, it means you'll get a bunch of people adding you and looking at your story for the main part and that will mean that you um, aren't going to be going over your 5,000 friend limit and it just means you'll be seen by other people um, but as more people get on it's less of a likelihood so it's good to start now um, but yeah this is just the uh, the URL that's called for the other part of my application which is the auto adder um, so I'm going to get into that now so before I, um, I start on that, you just want to go into Team Viewer, and uh, this is a this is a it's a really dumb way of getting around it. But you want to be able to connect to your um, your phone. Now this is for the auto adding part. Uh, so everything up ahead of this part of the video is going to be on automatically adding people from your account. Um, so a couple of requirements are you will need an Android phone. Uh, for what I know right now, there could be, there are many other phones I'm sure will work, but just make sure you can go on to TeamViewer on your phone and, and connect. So that's one thing. Um, and I will, I'll try and connect to it right now. So I'll be back in a minute, I'll get my phone. So I did, I did actually have some issues once upon a time with um, connecting to my phone, uh, but I've kind of fixed it. I've got an old phone. I've got, a, I've got a, um, an Honor Mate 9. This is my old phone. I've got an iPhone now, but um, I had to just plug it into charge to to make it work. I had a problem <coughs> where it would disconnect after about a couple of minutes. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna connect now, and then I'm gonna hit approve on my phone. You gotta get TeamViewer quick support, uh, and now I'm connected. And this is this is the app there. This app here is what I've been using. Um, so I'm just gonna go into into Snapchat. And um, I'm gonna just flip that, and 
you start by hitting the add button up here um, and you just want to make sure that you can do all that stuff so um, I'm now going to uh, go through the program so basically to to make this work you want to kind of have it you're going to have to keep moving it around a bit because I made the program sit on a different part um, so basically what that means is like the screen size just has to be in a perfect location so I'll, I'll show you on the video and then you can kind of navigate from there but I'm now going to open up the bit of Python code that I came up with um, to automatically add from the API so over here I've got the, um, the program it's just loading up um, this is the kind of repository you'll be shown now I will walk through how to install all of this stuff after but I'm just going to quickly just show you what it does so if I run this program and I'll, I'll, I'll go through everything after this um, or it's going to say got the first names so this is the names it got from here uh, and then it's going to wait for me to hit enter and I'm gonna the thing you've got to do is you've got to sit your mouse over this little button hit enter and it will start running so it will take a minute take a second sorry and it will uh, it'll do the first set now it seems I have done a bit of a, a miss movement here because what I didn't do was I didn't put it I didn't click so I wasn't clicked into the tab when I started it so I'm just being authentic uh, I'm just going to ignore that that didn't happen uh, so if I you want it to be able to click and then you're in so I'm now going to hit enter and try it again it should type in a name yep and then it's going to go down hit add and it's going to keep going down the list to see if there's extras to add now if it does see what it does it had to hit the button it's okay because it's going to know how to go in and out well so a couple tries and you'll get it um, I think I will change the timing so it doesn't always hit it but you're basically sitting here and it's going to be automatically adding these people for you um, as you can see so I did program it so that when it does click on a thing it's able to get out of that safely um, so that was the first set after you've done the first three names it's going to give you five seconds to cool down and then it will look for new names and it won't go over any names I'm almost certain uh, don't hold me to this but it, it will never go over names that you've put in before um, a lot of this might look very complicated but once I kind of you know break it down in the next part of the video of how to actually install all this stuff um, you, you won't have any problems but yeah you'll, you'll generally want a good enough background in a little bit of programming if you want to be able to do this but there's no requirements um, so that's that that's the auto adding part so basically the more people that we get as part of this app uh, the more you'll just be able to sit back and watch it add names um, there is no limit this is just a code here um, so yeah you've got it, it, it basically just sits on top of your computer and this is the general screen um, yeah it's I've got it set to 322 pixels by 630 so that's that's that bit at least um, so this this code is going to be in uh, the description in a repository uh, which I'll actually just show you right now you see I'll, I'll just quickly go over the things you require now um, to be able to run the actual code all you'll need is um, firstly I'll, I'll ask it just out of um, nice and necessity that you fill this out just so we have more data um, but the thing you want to do is you just want to um, clone this and download it as a zip zip file um, so I'll just open a new thing and I'll show you how to go from there so I'm now in this YouTube tutorial folder and I'm just going to, um, to move this to here and you want to make sure you have a um, you want to have a WinRAR client and if you don't have WinRAR just go and download it, it's quick, easy it just allows you to extract these zip file things here you just click uh, which one most people just hit that one right there for Windows for Windows <coughs> um, and it's just a free application so now you'll be able to open this folder and you've got all the files that uh, have been created 
Uh, the first thing you want to do after this is download Python if you don't have it installed. This just means going to python.org and downloading it. This is just the programming language that is used to do the stuff over the top of the screen. Um, so once you've downloaded that, you should be able to hold shift and right click and open up a uh, PowerShell or command line or whatever. Um, if you type in Python version, you will get Python 3.6. If you have failed to do this, I just look up a tutorial on how to install Python. Um, so what you're what you're doing now is you're in the command line, which is just an area that you can run programs and stuff. So to run the prime, which means to wait until you hit enter and go over the top of the Snapchat, you just want to write Python prime dot pi, and all that will be working. Now, if you do get an error, such as a module doesn't exist. Um, what you do want to do is write um, pip install par requirements.txt and that basically just means it's going to look at this file here um, yeah that's fine that's, um, that's that was just me being safe it's going to look into this file and it's going to find all of the packages that are in here um, for example, it was looking for keyboard, PyAuto GUI, um, and all those other things, JSON and time, they should all be in your computer. Um, and that will just make sure that you've got all the same modules as my computer does for writing this program. So you then should be able to write Python prime.py, <coughs> and you'll get this first names waiting for you to press enter, and then you'll do the process of going into Snapchat. So I'll just do that again for you. The auto adder is started when you hit enter. So you want to make sure you're selected into here, type in a few letters and then move over to this Snapchat button, hit enter and it will start moving. Um, and it will, it'll do, I think, I think it will do nine names right now, but I will update it once it's uh, working well and uh, more efficient and everything. So it'll just keep going over those names and we'll just let it do, we'll let it do three, even though there's only like a hundred names or so, I think, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but, um, yeah, it's going to finish in a second, it's got five seconds and then you can just close it. So I did program in that five second delay so you'd be able to move. So yeah, that's, that's basically try and get it into this position here where it will move the right away. Um, the only thing is your screen might be wider or something. So um, in that case, um, send me a, a private message and I'll, I'll edit your program specifically for you so you can get on the way. Um, yeah, I think that's the majority of it. So that covers both segments. You've got the um, the fame part of the application, which allows you to put in data, which allows you to add more people automatically. Say you were trying to, you know, just add a whole bunch of accounts instead of um, instead of having to automatically put in the names, and that might take you an hour. Uh, if you just let this thing automatically run while people are putting names in, your the program will automatically fetch new names, and it will uh, it will just keep running and running and running. In the background, even if you do get a temporarily stopping for adding, um, you will still remain like you'll be able to add those people when that returns. So it will just keep trying to operate, but um, yeah, it'll be fine. So I've I've put a lot of thought into how this won't affect anything really um, in terms of the you know your account being looked at by Snapchat. I've I've spent a lot of time making sure that nothing like that can happen um, but there are obviously there are obviously risks in this and always make sure when you're putting names in um, that you are using consented friends um, because putting in someone else's username is quite a dog act and yeah as I said I will eventually add the uh, the deleting part of the name because it is just a database on Heroku so um, yeah thanks for watching I think that is all of it you might cut me into something else in a second if I've missed something, but um, yeah, if you are having any troubles wanting to get the adder to work, uh, just please send me a message. I'll be reading the comments and 
uh, helping as many people as I can. Uh, and for the most part, I think that is everything to be covered. I might make a second video with some updates after this, uh, if it goes well. And uh, the accounts are working. Uh, so yes, have a good one. Um, also, I just forgot to add... And, oh, uh, uh, to uh, uh, okay. Um, I just wanted to add, uh, if anyone wants a specific tutorial, I know how hard it is sometimes to watch a tutorial on YouTube when the guy just runs through it, but I feel like I possibly could have done that. Uh, if you would like me to go in depth with how to install something, uh, it to do what I kind of showed you guys how to do, uh, or you want me to elaborate on something, just drop a comment and I'll make a video. I'm I'm pretty active on, in my community, so I will um I'll be I'll definitely make a specific video for it, even just one commenter, because you know if you're thinking there's a problem, everyone's got a problem. So that's just a quote of the year right there. So yeah, thank you.